Okay, that's better. Okay. So you just like action before you're going to start. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Action. <laughs> really? We'll start laughing. <laughs> I'll just leave hey. this on. Hey, oh. y'all. <laughs> Guys, it's us again. Kim and Amy. This time we're in my kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the farm. You thought you were driving to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> From the lake to the farm, and I it ain't gonna no just skip down the block either. <laughs> I mean, did you ride a horse in? And <laughs> I'm in parts of my hometown that I didn't even know existed. So she truly is on the farm. The cows, the chickens, the whole works. So I love it. Anyway, y'all love this so much, and Kim, you're a southern girl, and. Well, you've made biscuits one time. You told me about your biscuit making one time. Well, you wasn't supposed to bring oh, okay. that up. Oh, okay. Bring that up. So, anyway, Kim wants to learn. You actually messaged me like almost two years ago yeah. saying you want to make biscuits. Two you years know. ago. Hey, you're pointing to me, huh? What a friend. <laughs> two years later, here we are. We're making biscuits. <laughs> See? Okay, so this is like the easiest little biscuit recipe. And anybody, I post this, I get messages. Where's that? Where's that? Because it's so easy. Like, and I call them last minute biscuits. So this is what we're going to start with. Maybe one time we'll make like some. But this is how my biscuits. So this is how much faith though that she has in me. Two ingredients. Two ingredients. <laughs> and we're going to do it together today. Okay. Um, let's see. So we're going to start with our flour. This is self rising flour. Okay. Two <laughs> cups. And we're going to put this in our mixing bowl. Okay. We have one pepper chip. Mixed in bowl, and I'm using another one, but I'm gonna get another one, so I'll have two. And it's got measurements on it too, so I love that little bowl. It's got a lid. I love it, Lotus. One of my favorites. And then a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. That always makes stuff good. It does. Remember we made that chantilly cream. I know. I'm gonna do it a cup and a half. I ate that pie in two days. Did you? I shared one piece of that pie. With Ron. With Ron? Yes, and I literally <laughs> ate that pie in two days by myself. Wow. See, John's been eating. No, I ate one piece and he's... So, I told you that you're John and I'm Ron. I told you. Okay, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Okay. And now, it's your turn. Let me clean that back off so you can see. Yeah, I learned how the measurements are on the inside, yes. so you don't even have to pick it up. These come in a set of three. They go up to... This one's like... Four cups, but you can sit it on the cabinet. Y'all know how if you're measuring and you're holding it like this, it's at an angle, and these sit on the cabinet so they're nice and level. Mm -hmm. And you can see from the inside so you're not down here like this. And we talked about that last time, and I love, love it. I, love I it. definitely want to set it okay, on. but I don't remember what you said now. Cup and a half. Okay. <laughs> Cup and a half, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. You're right there at it. I know. God, I didn't, God, I don't want to mess this up. Okay. okay. I mean, two ingredients. I didn't mess it up. No, no. Okay. She's going to be so surprised. Your biscuits are going to be so good, girl. Yes, they <laughs> this are. This is really bad, but I'm a grandmother of seven grandkids. I know. And my oh, mother, okay. oh my gosh, she's going to be 93 years old. I have and a, I love I, that, too. <laughs> I have an older mama who is like just... Oh my gosh, such a southern cook, and I never learned to make biscuits. Well, you are right now, and okay. this is going to be good. You're going to make them, you're going to send me pictures every time you make them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now what we do is we're just going to kind of bring this together, sort of like, yeah, just stirring. It's going to seem like it's not working. It's going to seem like this is too sticky, but I want you to have the faith. Okay. And, yes, bring it together. Just keep on. Oh, Kim, you're doing fabulous, girl. You look like you've been making biscuits forever. Thank you. You do. <laughs> okay, and now, all right, now that we've got it sticky, yes. All right. Okay. okay. How do I know that I got it mixed up enough, though? Because I still have some loose flour. And, and lumps, um, lumps are just fine, and the loose flour, and it may be because you have that, that smaller little whisk. Okay. I got it. You got it. You got it, Kim. Yeah. It's not... It's not Scary, I promise. This is a very good little recipe. All right, girl. Just because I sell pepper chips does not mean I know how to make everything. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're gonna kind of scoop that to the side just a little bit. And I don't. Do you mind? I'm gonna take off my rings. I need to too. Yeah, because we'll get. Um, yeah, put it under that rooster. He'll he'll take care of your rings for you. Okay. I'll take the Okay. 
All right, now, so, and you have a pan chef biscuit cutter, but it's been retired, but hopefully they'll bring them back. Yes, we're going to get them bring it back, and I've just got one of mine, so anyway, this is a little um, pepper chef prep bowl, and these are my favorite size, and they have three different sizes. Three different sizes with lids. I forgot to bring them. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, she shouldn't have to. And I'm going to get some after this party. I'm oh my some gosh. Yeah, she's going to get some stuff all right. <laughs> she's going to get a lot of stuff. Okay, yeah. so scooch that to the side a little bit. And you're, this is your little work surface right here. You're going to put you a little bit of flour. I love this kids. <laughs> I'm just having the best time. You're doing this, girl. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. No, <laughs> no, it isn't. Y'all trust me with products, but don't necessarily. Trust me with cooking. <laughs> She's gonna love her biscuits. Okay, look what I'm doing. Just okay. like turn that out. And if you want to get a little bit of that, what's stuck, because there'll be some stuff, because it's a very sticky little dough. Oh, it is. But it's okay. And you might want to use this bigger. You're getting it. You're getting it, girl. Okay. All right, and let's flour our hands. And yeah, I'm gonna get mine off too. So we're gonna scrape off our spatula with our finger and get flour like flour your hands real good like this oops i can see this going <laughs> i can see us having a flour <laughs> okay okay all right we got flowery hands you kind of sprinkle a little on top okay and now we're just going to begin pressing it down and and the more the less you need on your biscuits you know the more tender and fluffy they are, so okay. it's very important. Okay. okay, so we're just gonna, and look, I wanna make sure it's not sticking. So let's do this and kind of flip it over. There we go, I'll put you a little bit. Now, see, see, look at there, you're making biscuits. Oh, yes. Okay, let me put some on top. We haven't tasted of them yet. They're gonna be good because the less we need. You, so you don't have to knead them and knead them and get that no, perfect texture because I no, remember my that's mother bread, doing that. That's bread though. We'll do no, bread. No, this was her biscuits. I remember my mom. She would make a little funnel. Now with her hands. Yeah, and well, then we'll she do would do that. Add, oh. And she would do a little funnel and work it to a certain consistency. That's our next video. And then, and then she'd work it. So I tried this, y'all, back when I was dating my husband. I was going to impress him by cooking. And true story, my dad was. You uh, are telling the story. <laughs> my, well, you opened up the door. I did, I did. Okay, and, go ahead. And my dad was just always a very serious, very laid back. He worked and had a full time job. He also preached on the side. So he was an uh, assistant or associate pastor yeah. or a layman or however you want to title him. But. I sit down with my biscuits and I'm so proud and I'm already baking my eggs and so they picked them up and <laughs> they got them and my dad went to break it open to put it in the butter and they wouldn't break open and so he hit the side of the plate with them and they were so hard and I'm just literally just dying here because I'm trying to impress my boyfriend, my yeah. husband. And he's like, well, we can always take them outside and use them for baseball practice or something. <laughs> and I just wanted to die. It may not be that funny to y'all, but it's just one of those memories. Well, so I've never, yourself never, today. seriously, ever. And that's 37 that broke, years you, ago. 37 broke, years ago, I have not tried to make a biscuit since. Well, I I'm know sorry. we're going to make those biscuits of your mama's next time. Okay. We'll do this, and the next time we'll do those well, others. You know, that was hard. So <laughs> it's just like okay. what I stick so with. What I usually do to see how you can make these biscuits as tall as you like or as thin as you like, mm -hmm. I like to kind of use that. So, okay, well, that's about that. Oh, okay. Don't you think? And I think yours are going to be fluffier than mine, and I love that. So you put literally your top on it to see if it's about the size of your yeah, cast yeah. iron. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and these are Pampered Chef too. I'll beat her to it. These are our cast <laughs> iron Pampered Chef and they come in different sizes. I brought the little mini one. We'll show that. Let's get these in the oven okay. and we'll show that one. Okay. About that. that sounds good. And I had one and you had one, so we're yes. good today. All right, we're going to dip our biscuit cutter. We're using a two inch. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm saying we are and I'm doing it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> We'll dump it out for us to do it. Okay. Well, you're used to doing this by yourself. And, and look, I start 
on the edge and okay. try not to like waste too much room. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you want the most out of it. Right. Yeah, okay. you got it. Okay. All right. There you go. You got a biscuit, girl. Let's My start. first biscuit? Yeah. And we buttered our dishes yeah. really well before we got started, guys. So that's how we do. Are you good? <laughs> I just love it, Kim. And we're going to do your mama's biscuits um, another time. Kim and I want to do Bible study together with y'all. Um, they y'all fell in love with Kim, and she's fell falling and fell and she's falling in love with y'all. Oh my gosh! I, we have talked about this group so much; it's not even funny. Yeah. We have had the best time. I've been on at night <clears throat> talking and discussing. Oh, y'all have just been so much fun. It, I just cannot tell you how much I've appreciated y'all. But I'm shaking. I told you I was okay. shaking. I'm nervous. I want to say one more thing because I want to teach Kim exactly right. Okay. When you push down, mm -hmm. do not twist because that makes your biscuits. If you twist like that and do it wrong, okay. it can possibly bind that together. It doesn't let them right. rise. Yeah, okay. kind of like, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I want to turn right. Like, you did feel like you need to twist. Yeah, it and it's so it. hard. Sometimes I'm doing it, and I'm having to talk to myself, you know. Yeah. But yeah, just straight down okay. and straight back up. Because I want to teach you exactly right. Yeah. I don't want to hold any secrets. That's Have you good. ever had somebody teach you a recipe and hold one little secret? Yeah. That makes me so mad. I'm like, why did you even bother? I honestly thought maybe my mother-in-law did that to me in the beginning, because they're Italian, and her spaghetti and meatballs is what she's known for. Yeah. It took me 22 years to get the recipe. 22, 22. years. 22. Yeah. Wow. And so I felt like she was the mother-in-law from Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so I would hold back some ingredients just because hers was better. Well, was she? No, she was honest. Okay. And she finally shared the secret good. recipe with us. And I got it down. Will you make will you make that with me one time? Yeah, but I can't share the recipe. See, I don't know what I'm, I'm talking about. Okay, I will ask her if I can. Okay. But I would have to out of respect get her appreciation. I mean her, not her appreciation, her, her blessing. Uh, yes, to, because yeah, okay. it goes back to my husband's great grandparents. See, that's awesome. That came over from Italy. Oh, there's such a story, fascinating story there. So anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm waiting on you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're telling stories, girl. You know, I'm the usually in your. I'm usually your. Okay, so what okay I'm now that that's lit, we kind of just pick it up out of the flour, and we'll just bring it together. The less kneading we do, the less manipulation, the more tender. So you see, I just kind of brought it together, mm -hmm. and then I sort of do it oblong because I know, you know, we like see how wide that biscuit cutter is, mm -hmm. like that. Look, look at your biscuits. I know they're pretty. They're beautiful. They look like they're so perfect they came out of a can. <laughs> okay, is that about right? Yes, ma'am. And then we'll just start cutting some more biscuits. These are going to be just as good because we just haven't manipulated that dough. Lots and lots and lots. And then I'm going to go and try to make me like one last little biscuit. He's probably going to be big and fluffy. But if we don't eat it, the chickens will eat it. So. Okay, so do I like do what you sure. did again? Sure. Because I guess I did not pat my nail for it. No, I, I did it very much. I did it very much. Just right. do this. Right, that's it. That's it. The less you do, there you go. You got it, girl. Oh, I wish I wasn't shaking so bad. I'm so nervous. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm slow. No, I'm usually one. the one talking. Y'all know that, so I'm usually the one not. This is why we get done. along so good. I know. We are kindred spirits. I really we believe really. we are, Kim. Okay, now we'll slide this. Look, look, look at Kim. <laughs> that one's not so pretty. Look at that one. Those are the middle ones. Those are the chicken's biscuits okay. or the dog's biscuits okay. or whatever. All right. Okay, now, the only other thing, we want them to brown really good in our 500-degree Fahrenheit ovens. And the hotter you cook bread, the more tender it is on the inside. So that's why it's 500. That seems, like, really crazy. Okay. And this cream is perfect for browning. Oh, you know how okay. sometimes you rub an egg, scramble, or oil, or whatever. I'm going to get us two brushes. 
Yeah. And I'm going to ask you, does Pampered Chef have? Yes, we do. We have a baster, and I love it. And it even has a little hook on oh, the outside. Well, I'm that getting you those. Can hook it on the outside of your mixing bowl or I love it. whatever. And it's it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good little hook, so it'll fit in most sizes. Good. I use it. A I lot. want that on my list too. So my list is huge. <laughs> well, you're going to get a huge okay. amount of stuff. So heavy cream, just like okay. a swipe on each one. And there you go. Girl, you look like a pro. <sighs> you do. I'm not we'll joking. After we taste them, so. You're going to love your biscuits. If y'all only saw the, uh, our conversation before all of this and the things we talk about, y'all would be so entertained. <laughs> I think we could start our own like little comedy show or something. <laughs> we could, could we? Oh, yes. I knocked over her chicken. I thought I was going to cry because I thought I broke it. And material things. Things are material to me. I don't care. I'd rather have your love and love you. I don't care about material things. I got in trouble as a little kid for over material things, so I'm not a material. I'm not a material girl. Me either. I mean, it's look, like, oh, no. I have <laughs> worked hard, hard in the kitchen. The kitchen. Okay. All right, girl. <clears throat> 500 degrees for about 10 minutes. Okay, so you're going to get those that ready? Yes. You All slide right. yours in there. Slide mine in there? Yeah, here you go. Okay. Here you go. I'll slide mine in there. I'm gonna slide yours in there. Everybody saw that slide in there. Like, and then I, I'll stick these in here. Okay. <laughs> Here's that silly thing. I love it. Uh, okay, y'all. Okay, we're ready. Okay, I don't even remember which one's your bar. You, you played the switch around. I don't even. Are these yours? Yeah. <laughs> See? I think they are. And yeah. they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Yes, because there's my little funny looking one that you said the cows could have it. Are the chickens? Yeah, the chickens. chickens for the cows. I love it. I love it. I love it. See, I, I think like your biscuits are prettier than mine. They really kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> they did turn out so pretty. I told you. I told oh you. Yeah. I, okay, we're going to talk a little bit about this. This is Pepper Chef. Tell about these because they're like no heat. It gets through them. Yeah, they're see. silicone. They're made out of silicone. You can throw them in your dishwasher. These have actually been thrown into my washing machine before. I towel them. I love that. And throw them in the dryer. I don't even know if that's on there, but I have thrown mine in there. But yeah, easy to throw in the washing machine. And we actually have a smaller size to grip to get those bowls out of the microwave and all that are about even half the size of this so check it out in the catalog but these are really nice to have yes yes and i noticed like with some of my fabric things like if i'm holding cast iron for a while it starts coming through there mm -hmm. and, and it, it does not on these yeah. so i love that it's so easy to wash though so. all right we're gonna try them yes we've got to try them do you want jelly or just butter i'll, I'll just do butter Okay. I mean, bread and butter don't get no better. All right, now, I would use a knife. These are hot. I could, can you feel the heat? Yeah, I'm glad you stopped me because I literally was just about to touch. Oh. And grab one. All right, and I'm going to. I can't them. believe these are two ingredients. Look how Look they at this Oh, oh no. no. My dad could not be saying they could be used for baseball practice. No, anymore. he could not be saying that at he all. He would be so. Ow, that mouth. Um, be, I, I'm shaking. I gotta protect my friends here. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. Oh my goodness. You're gonna you're gonna stop by the time we do several videos together. <laughs> okay. No, your dad's anxiety. Your dad would be very very proud of you. Come here. Let's go show the cameras. Come on. <laughs> This I is what I always do. I'm surprised John had come in here to get a biscuit from us. Here is our, here is my biscuit. Yeah. Finally. Come, come to this one too. I won't, I won't tell you how old I am, but my first biscuit, y'all, my first biscuit. I love it. I love it. We've got to go taste this now. <laughs> All right, Kim. Oh, this, yes. is the, this is it. What do you think? I'm hungry because I love you. Oh my gosh, those are so good. <laughs> oh my, what did we, we just used the, uh, self whipping flour and whipping flour. Oh my goodness, they are so fluffy and good. They are, I love it, I love it. 
love that you're being like I'm, so honest right I'm here. I'm serious. I'm making these for my husband tomorrow morning. He oh, will, good. He will die. And to prove that I will, I'll even take a picture. So I have to be accountable for it. Yeah. So that I won't just be saying that. Oh, That's these right. are so good. John Ooh. Murray. John Murray's come in on us. They know John comes in on us every time. He shows up when they're ready. You notice how he came in when we had these going in yeah, the Yeah, I kind of caught myself looking to the side because I didn't know if it was an animal because he has cats and dogs and chickens and cows. <laughs> but it was her husband, so. John, you want a biscuit? Sure. He wasn't even listening. See, I told you he's so used to. Come in here, baby, and get one. He turns so good. He's my water. Kim thought John would be listening to us. I said he don't listen to us, and literally he was not listening to us talk about him. This, I cannot, these are really good. These are better than the canned biscuits, too. Mm -hmm. The texture. Come on this side, John Mary. The texture is Do you so know good. Cracker Barrel biscuits? They remind me of Cracker Barrel biscuits. You want that when you pick Look, You get one of Kim's. He picked out of my pan. You chose <laughs> crackers over mine. <laughs> First time I've ever made biscuit. Well, the second time I've ever made biscuit. Okay, the first one didn't turn out so good. I've never made them before. They're so good. Thank you. <laughs> so you called you nagging on the couch. I was, I was headed. I was headed for a nap. I was headed for a nap. Yes, At I least was. he called you baby. He may have picked mm. out of oh, out okay. of mine. Okay. He called you baby. Yeah, at least he didn't say thank you baby. Mm. Are they good? They're good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Kim, Kim, see, there you go, validation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, get, get it from my husband tomorrow, so. I love it. You're going to take those. You can take tonight, or you're going to make them fresh for your husband. Oh, yeah, I'll make people think I made them. <laughs> you can cut that out. <laughs> you did, you did, you you did, did make, make them, though. You literally did. did. did so. And I bet they are good warmed up in the microwave. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now they are. Right. will say in the morning, okay, did you really make those or are they from Amy's? <laughs> say they're from Amy's. Because I, I don't yeah, have a whole lot of this. You made them. All right. All right, y'all. We love y'all. It's been fun. Thanks for joining us.